We must plan for you to fight one last duel, my darling. This time for all of us. Once you find Corypheus, I suppose we must... wait. Corypheus failed at the temple, lost us at Haven, and couldn't even kill me with an archdemon. My record is phenomenal, if nothing else. Let's pray it remains so. Please be sure to. I, I hope that you'll... Maker, I wish you didn't have to go. You mean the world to me, Josephine Montillier. Then return to me safely. <sighs> I must attend to some tasks before you draw out our enemy. Do go before I begin to cry. Inquisitor. I'm marching soon. That's the word. So, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. We went to an elven rune, so a witch could consume a pool of magical goo and then walk through a mirror, and wound up back here. Have I mentioned that the shit that happens to you is crazy? I don't want to think about this anymore. You want to discuss something normal? Carry on. The Temple of Mathal was extraordinary. In all my journeys, I never dreamed of finding anything like it. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? This war proved that we can't go back to the way things were. I'll try to help this world move forward. You would risk everything you have in the hope that the future is better. What if it isn't? What if you wake up to find the future you shaped is worse than what was? I'll take a breath, see where things went wrong, and then try again. Just like that. If we don't keep trying, we'll never get it right. You're right. Thank you. For what? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You have offered hope that if one keeps trying, even if the consequences are grave, that someday things will be better. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power, that, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. We can talk more once Corypheus is dead. I hope so. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tavinta. Once this is done, if we're still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. Someone with your impeccable taste could transform to Vinter. I hope you're right. You usually are. It might surprise you to know that you're the one who inspired me. You're shaping the world, for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Tavinta can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything.
Greetings again, Inquisitor. I trust everything is well with the mages. Most are pleased with the Alliance, even if we wonder what will happen next. I'll leave you to it. Here is the request Solus made. Very well. I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? If you were divine, what would you do? Change things. Change everything. Your support of the Mage Rebellion was a good start. We must build on this. No more circles. The Mages will be free. The Chantry will accept them as the Maker's children. In fact, it will accept everyone. Elves, Dwarves, even Canari. Why exclude them? The Chantry allows our differences to tear us apart, instead of teaching us how we are the same. I think you would make a good Divine. I am glad to hear it. Your support may persuade the Grand Clerics to vote in my favor. Justinia wanted the Chantry to grow, but her reforms never took root. She was held back by tradition and was too gentle to force change. I will make that mistake. You never know, Justinia might have succeeded, if she hadn't been caught in a giant blast of magic. I won't make that mistake either. Justinia thought the circles needed to change. But why stop there? The Chantry alienated potential allies by brutalizing elves and belittling dwarves. If we could bring them into the fold, wouldn't we have peace? There are those who would cling to the old ways, of course. But they will see. I would make them see. <laughs> but I've rambled on too long. I am not divine. Yet. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the Maker's light, and nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you. For those we have lost, and those I am afraid to lose. I'm glad you haven't lost your faith. I've questioned it at times. I found comfort in faith when life offered little. Corypheus will retaliate. It's only a matter of time. We must draw strength wherever we can. Are we prepared? We will be. I should return to my duties. There's more to be done. It's been quite the momentous day, hasn't it, my dear? We should probably give some thought to the very likely possibility that Morrigan will use her new power against us. I don't think it's likely. I think it's a certainty. We will need to prepare ourselves, if we can. Circle records have limited information on shapeshifting. There are mentions of counterspells that may prevent mages from transforming or from reverting to their true forms. 
I have my people researching these spells now. If they have ever been documented, I'll find them. The pieces are nearly in place. We'll soon strike against Corypheus directly. You've done well. I will be proud to fight alongside you when the time comes. How may I help you? Single targets. Then crush. So to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. Just one more big fight to put this magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. I've been waiting for the chance to pay that bastard back. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Hey, you need me? See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Inquisitor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. It's just the funniest, isn't it? That creaky old Abelas in Mythal saying the elves weren't destroyed by Tevinter. An admission that did not come easy. Of course it didn't, because that's elfy elves' thing, being the sore losers of history. I never hear the end of it. Like being sad makes them better than me. Turns out they're not victims, they're the same as everyone else. Assholes. Plus, a big old temple full of demon worshipping lies. Grand, that. So your main takeaway is that elves worship demons? Well, they never call them that, yeah. But that's what it had to be. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? There can't be a bunch of gods and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? There's so much history there. What if some of it is true? No, now you're stupid. You can't think that because it's stupid. But everything we saw... Why believe it? Because Abelas looked weird. If that's all it takes, Corypheus shit heel is full of lumpy truth. You're not even an elf. Why are you being so damned elfy? You're the frigging herald of Andraste. Every time you open your mouth, you'll sound like an idiot. It's not as if it matters what I believe. I've already denied being the herald. Not for me to say, yeah. Just saying. Anyway, believe what you want. So long as we kill Corypheus fish. Whatever. Oh, very well. Uh. Corypheus died, and then he didn't. That's why he always felt wrong, like he didn't fit inside himself. He wears another man's life. I thought dying was forever. So did I. Corypheus seems to break a lot of rules. Is it him? Is he real? If a man can be dead and then not... Could I have saved the real Cole? What happened to him wasn't your fault. It gnawed at me, hooks in the hollows, pain of not knowing like the knot in his belly. 
that is a hurt, and hurts can heal. I can heal. Forget. Cole? Cole, are you? You may still use that name, if you like. I am here to help you. Victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. He'll hide. What other choice does he have? Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. It wouldn't be any fun if all this was over so soon. Corypheus believes himself a god. Pride alone demands he not slink off into the shadows. I have faith you will be victorious even so. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, a valued friend, Victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. Oh, I have plans of my own. As you should. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. You have come far, my friend. It has been an honor. It's a good thing I'm not a real warden. It's a blessing. Warden or not, I'd hate to be on the other side of your blade. Going up against a Darkspawn. And the last thing you want is a Grey Warden. Funny how these things happen. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Si te gustó el video no se te olvide darle me gusta, favoritos y comentar. También no se te olvide suscribirte a mi canal de YouTube para no perderte ninguno de mis videos. Oh, se me olvidaba. Y también pueden darle me gusta a mi página de Facebook para poder estar al día a través de las redes sociales.